Hello, uh, Jim Howard here in Fort Worth, Texas. Today's date, it is uh, April 17th of 2017. <clears throat> I was just thinking, I'm not sure that I made a 4K video. I think I ordered in a Panasonic camera and it broke within 30 days and I think it did 4K and I may have made a 4K video with it. But I'm using the Logitech uh, Pro webcam and it does 4K and I don't think with it that I have actually made a 4K video. Uh, I think I may have had it set to 4K but then I've uh, been doing a screen capture so I've had the, the video running on the screen but I've captured it with a screen capture and I think that reduces down the so I don't think it's been 4k this should be the first 4k video with I think with the Logitech uh, Pro camera B-R-I-O which uh, when I got it it was $199 I see it is now $191 well $192 on uh, on uh, Amazon I don't think I do think that a lot of people do have 4k television sets and I'm not sure about monitor anyway television sets and there are a lot of people who are who do watch uh, YouTube videos on their TV sets or uh, so there may be an interest in having uh, maybe I should be making 4k videos this is going to be a 10 minute video so we'll see how big the file size is yeah it's going to be big I'm still waiting for AT&T they put the boxes out there for fiber optics and I live almost right next to a few hundred feet from a Fort Worth uh, fire station number 23 and when they put the thing in the street the fiber optics they went to that building and they uh, <clears throat> put the box on the side of the building they went in and put uh, so I think it's there and I don't know why they don't bring it into this apartment complex or any place else along this street or so I'm waiting for it I understand the price is going to be I think $90 for one gig up and one gig down right now I have 60 uh, meg down and five up so one gig up and one down would be uh, fantastic I really don't need it, but it would be great for make, for uploading these 4K, uh, 4K videos for sure. Um, Ninety dollars a month. At the, I noticed uh, that in their advertising, AT and T for their fiber says, you know, uh, one year, four or one gig up, one gig down, uh, ninety bucks special so in a year's time you know they're going to say okay well now it's more than that plus also I noticed which I really don't like is that they said for the first year uh, you get a uh, $30 value uh, unlimited option for bandwidth or whatever so at the end of the year or is that going to be the extra $30 are they going to add an extra $30 onto that or is the price going to go up from 90 and then they're going to say oh and by the way if you want uh, totally unrestricted you know amounts an extra $30 uh, you know I really don't need the fast speed but I want it uh, and if I stopped doing you or if I didn't do UK if I stopped doing YouTube videos I could and some other I could I could have some savings I pay 
you know, pay for YouTube Red, pay for YouTube something other, you know, thing. And well, I could just save some money just by, I could, you know, come out ahead. But I'm willing to spend 90 a month. But I don't think I'm willing to go. Although I wouldn't use, I don't think, I wouldn't go over a limit. Because I, you know, I, I've i got a, uh, I could get by with, I can get by with a Chromebook. You know, this is the, uh, which one, I have it up here, which one is it? This is a Samsung Chromebook Plus, about $425. I'm not crazy about Chromebooks, but this has a fantastic, uh, has a fantastic display. And I like it in tablet mode. And I, uh, I like it that the Amazon apps one thing, I'm, and I'll get used to it, uh, one thing is, you know, the, when you have it in tablet mode, the key thing on the pa back doesn't, you know, that doesn't work turned off. But I still, it's weird feeling the keys back there. I've got, uh, it comes with uh, two type C. It does not have USB port. It has two type C ports. But I have a... Uh, Type C, and this gives me four uh, USB 3.0 on it. And I also ordered in and hooked it up. I ordered in a Type C to an HDMI, and so I had the monitor using my big monitor here. But of course, I don't have a touch monitor. But uh, of course, I could still have the thing open if I wanted to and touch the screen. I've also got a Chrome box Asus that uh, has four gigabytes of memory and it's a Chrome box using the Chrome operating system. I have the uh, monitor cable plugged in the back so I don't lose so I don't lose it and I have the power supply plugged into it. It has a nice long power supply cord. I'm not sure what I will do. I've tried different things here. Uh, you know, two monitors, which I have right now. One of the widescreen monitors and then a 27 inch, I think, monitor. Side by side. And uh, that's why also you, some, the way this helps now is this monitor over here, I can put the camera controls. That's why it's much easier for me to do stuff like this now. Before it was, it would show up on the desktop that you would see. So I've got to find, figure out if, if when I do a screen capture, and I'm not doing a screen capture of both screens, I won't do that. But if this screen over here, uh, does that reduce it? Do I not get 4K? I mean, there's no point in having a little tiny 4K video on the screen here. That's just a little part of it. So, uh, and also I can see the timer here. We're coming up on nine minutes and I didn't need to tell, well, I can't say the word ECHO because I said I set a timer there. So uh, my room is a total disaster. I'm still babysitting a cat that needs to be isolated. And we think the cat is now well. And Hillary will be taking the cat with her. And uh, I may make a video next or this week, at the end of this week, I think. Uh, depending on how I feel, there's a... Uh, Echo, cancel the timer. 10 minute timer canceled. Uh, downtown Fort Worth has a, the streets block, will have the streets blocked off, have artists and craftsmen down there. And I may go down and take my camera. But you know what I realized, remember I told you that I had that camera that 
I got and I had it for less than 30 days, Panasonic, and it, and it broke, and I sent it back. I did not get a replacement, and I think that was a 4K camera. I have two cameras. This is, I have an LX, it's an LX8 Panasonic, and then I have this uh, Panasonic FZ200. And it just occurred to me that uh, I do not have a digital camera for doing 4K video. So, uh, I may need to try to come up with money for one. Anyway, this is 4K video. Jim Howard in living 4K video. And I'll be interested to see how big the file is. And we're coming up here on uh, 11 minutes. So. Thank you very much for what oh let me update something in case you saw my youtube a youtube video or in case you saw my blog entry i mistakenly thought that i had uh, an appointment with the doctor to remove this on my head and i thought it was uh, coming up here in a couple of days it's next month it's a month from now so Thank you very much for watching.